the archers were aware of me because I, um, first in the archers, I played um, Jennifer Archer when she was a child, aged five, because I had a sort of speciality of playing little boys and little girls on the radio, you see, so I did that. So I, um, they were aware of me. And then um, Monica Gray, who'd been playing Grace Fairbrother, as she was then, for the first year, she um, resigned. Um, and so they asked me to uh, an audition to replace her, and luckily I got it. <laughs> and so I played Grace Fairbrother and Grace Archer um, for three and a half years um, until she died so dramatically. And I do have to say that the, <laughs> the response of the public was comparable only to that when Princess Diana died. It was absolutely incredible. Mm. Well, she was very spoiled, <laughs> very beautiful, very spoiled, and loved horses. Were there any changes made to the scripts while you were recording? Um, occasionally, yes, not too much. In other programmes, I have been there when um, <laughs> um, somebody's come and slashed my script while I was reading it. Yes, it cut that, it just crossed the line out. <laughs> because they were pressed for time or something. Were you involved in any broadcasting that was actually live? Oh, yes. In fact, all the, the serial books that I read were live. The, um, the, the, the short stories, the morning stories, they were all live, yes. So you mustn't you... make a fluff on them. <laughs> I was going to say, if you fluffed, what, what, you just have to carry on. You just have to carry on. And yes, hope that so people you... didn't notice much. Well, they, <laughs> they couldn't help but notice, but I mean, in a way, I suppose you were so nervy, nervous that you didn't fluff. <laughs> so you've said that you were hugely fated. Um, and what sort of events were you invited to? Well, garden parties and um, openings of this, that and the other. And... <laughs> I was always afraid that my husband was, would win the pig because he got so experienced at bowling for it. <laughs> this is your husband in real life? Yes, my would, husband. Would, would accompany he, you? He came with me, yes, yes. Oh, that's because I used to say that at, at, um, uh, when I was speaking at, at these events. I always said, you know, people are always saying to me, when are you going to marry Phil? And um, so I'd like you to know that in real life I've got no such problems and I'd like you to meet my husband. So we did. <laughs> So he came with me to all the things, which was very nice. You'd be going on, you'd be going as Grace then, rather than with, always with Norman Painting, who played Phil. You'd be going to these events on your own. Sometimes, sometimes with Norman Painting, you know. How did you respond to the adulation that you received? I mean, when listeners saw you in the flesh, was the adulation ever sort of overpowering? Well, no, it was a bit exhausting signing all those autographs because <laughs> we had to stay, you know, maybe for an hour or two just signing autographs. How big an event was Grace's marriage to Phil Archer? Um, well, yes, we, uh, we had that in a church and um, <laughs> the public got to hear of it. <laughs> They had to keep turning people away. <laughs> but, uh, so it was an outside broadcast? It was, yes, yes. And how many people do you think were there? Well, I don't know, but the vicar was very pleased. <laughs> but here they come to the church afterwards. <laughs> were, were, were the people that turned up, were they allowed inside the church or did they all have to stay outside? Was it only invited people that were actually inside the I think church? It was, I really can't remember, but I think it was only invited ones who'd be allowed in. <laughs> and listeners have been waiting five years for, for Grace Fairbrother's marriage, so it was a pretty big occasion. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and I heard, is it right, that you were known as the the golden couple of the airwaves. <laughs> Something like that, yes, yes. <laughs>